This is the XNRL Utility, a tool that is designed to boost the FPS and reduce input delay in any game, so you get smoother and faster gameplay. Today I'll walk you through the simple steps to download it and get started right away. Ok so the first thing we're going to do is download the utility, so go to your browser and search xnraltweaks.com, just like this, click on download, download now, and then give it a second to load, and then once you see this, continue to download, and then yeah you got the utility. So now drag it to your desktop, like this, right click, extract tool, then extract, then open this up, and you're going to see the launcher just like this, right click, click and press run as admin. You're gonna see this. So now what we're gonna do is download now. Choose your file directory next, and it's gonna start downloading. Now once it's done, just log in, and then you got the utility right here. If you have any scaling issues, you go to settings, and then change your display scaling to 100%. And then yeah. So now you got a utility where you have your information, CPU information, RAM, game view stats, review. Where you can, you can filter out so you can see the free reviews, score, pro, etc. You can redeem key and delete your key, and then yeah, and then you can write reviews, leave suggestions if you have any suggestions for the app. And then you can start with the tweaks. So now you can just go to make a restore point, which I already did. Just make a restore point. Then once you do that, you go to the optimization tab. So here we go, free reviews, and we go pro reviews right here. Just give it a second to load. And your pro reviews. So for this pro and core, basically how it works is if you get core, you can only access core. If you get pro, you can access pro and core basically. So there's many, many sections, but for the sake of this video, we're going to focus on the free version. So these are the three tweaks. You got basic, advanced, latency, power, GPU, CPU, and peripherals. To apply a tweak, just click and then to revert, just unclick and then we revert the tweak. So then yeah you can pretty much apply nearly every single tweak but i wouldn't recommend to mass apply so you just apply and see what's good for you and what's not if you don't like a tweak or it made your performance worse just make sure you leave it in the suggestions tab which then i will update and then yeah you can apply pretty much nearly every single tweak and then once you're done up um choosing which tweak you want to do you can move to the next section advanced uh, you can select which tweaks you want to do, same for latency, power, GPU, and then CPU, and then peripherals. So, under each tweak, there's going to be a little description what it does, so make sure you read it and know where you apply it. So once you're done with the optimization, optimization tab, you can move over to the game mode where you can select what game. So, for the full one, it basically optimizes your game user settings and your engine.ni, so basically tweaks them. Just click apply and you're going to start applying your Fortnite tweaks. And then just give it a second to load. Once you're done, you can move on to the bloat. The reason why you can move on to BIOS because BIOS is basically right now only for the core and pro feature. Where you can test if this tweaks are for you, which will tell you which, which one is best for you when you select this one. But then obviously, and you can make a backup to BIOS and boot to BIOS as well. But for the sake of this, because obviously this is the free version, move on to debloat. Where you have, um, you can debloat your PC and select. Most of these features are still in beta, so some features might not work. Just make sure you tell me on the suggestion tab over here. And then you just apply the tweaks you want to do. And then once you're done, yeah, it's going to start applying how much tweaks you have. So obviously for me, since I have the pro version, it says 349, but for you guys, it's going to be 1, 1, 8 or 7. And then obviously, I am planning to add an automatic tuner to basically allow you guys to select presets. So like, you want a performance preset or a latency preset, so it makes it easier for you to apply tweaks faster. And then yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to use the utility. I'll see you guys in the next one.